Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Today we are going to look at my new Sparmax SP575. I was looking for an airbrush that I could use for priming and metallic paint. I figured it has something to do with the nozzle size and not the thinning ratio. And so I decided to buy this. Sparmax 575 has a 0.5mm nozzle. It is still a dual action airbrush you expect to get a good control of air and paint. This is a suction airbrush. It means that the paint is sucked from the bottle attached under the airbrush. Let us open it and see what is inside. Here are all its contents. We have here the airbrush itself, a tiny wrench, 1.8 PS fitting, 80 mil plastic bottle, 22 mil plastic bottle. This is obviously a plastic bottle. It comes with a plastic cover. Inside is a long plastic hose. This is the 22 milliliters glass bottle. It comes with a cover that connects to the airbrush. If you have a 1.8 airbrush hose, then you may use this fitting. By default, the airbrush comes with a 1 fourth connection. We also get a tiny brush for cleaning and a printed copy of the manual. If you want to use the bigger bottle, you can simply use this cover for that and then swap the short straw for the long one. Let me show you how. There you go. It is very easy. And so here we have it. Let's take a good look at the airbrush. It is very shiny and definitely feels sturdy. Now let's take a look at the needle. Just to try it, let's connect the paint bottle. Basically, that is how it looks. The spring action is fantastic, it is very comfortable. I did not expect this feature, but this was a beautiful surprise to me. The needle action can be controlled or limited through this knob at the end of the airbrush. It makes it easy for the user to control the flow of paint. Let us take a quick comparison between SP575 and SP35. So this is the SP35. The paint is loaded on the top and is feeded through gravity. I love it and I still use it a lot. And here they are side by side. SP35 only has a 35mm nozzle which means 575 has a bigger nozzle. Now I am connecting the hose to the SP575. There is definitely a bit of obstacle here with the moisture trap connected so I might just remove that. With the bottle located underneath the airbrush, it becomes difficult to hang it to the holder that comes with the compressor. My solution is to hang it by the tail instead. Okay, let us start priming. Just a little bit for now. I'm gonna put ball bearings in it so the paint won't settle much.
I love how easy it is to control that I can use it easily on detailed kits. It covers surfaces smoothly and quickly. Here's a part with a large surface. It is done in just seconds. Now I am going to clean it. What I did not get to record here is the part where I put some airbrush cleaner in the bottle and sprayed it. That would get the airbrush cleaner in the insides of the airbrush and somehow clean it. But to be more thorough, it would be better to dismantle it and take the needle out for cleaning. So that is exactly what I am doing here right now. See how there is still paint on the needle? Be careful when using the airbrush cleaner. Make sure you wear a mask and be in a well-ventilated Dip the Q-tip in the cleaning solvent and then just clean that needle gently. I did the same to the exterior of the airbrush. Now that it is done and I am satisfied, let us assemble it again. All in all, I am very satisfied with this purchase. It definitely made my life easier when priming. It was easy to use and clean, the job was done quickly. Would I recommend this? I definitely highly recommend it. I bought it at a very affordable price but I found out that there is another store who is selling it for a cheaper price. I'm a little bit bummed about that but still the price I paid for it was not that bad and I am happy with the results. I expect these airbrushes to last for years. I have been using my SP35 for about 4 years now and it is still working. This is by the way not sponsored but based on my experience, Sparmax is a good brand. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you learned something from this. Thank you and see you again next time.